there have been dreams that have been related to scientific discoveries and theories, uh, the most famous of which uh, is Albert Einstein's uh, theory of relativity. Uh, they asked him when, when he thought he had the first notions of the idea of relativity, and he said it occurred when he was a teenager, which would have been sometime around 1890 to 1895. Uh, and these, this is the dream in uh, Einstein's own words. He says, I was sledding with my friends at night. I started to slide down the hill, but my sled started going faster and faster. I was going so fast that I realized I was approaching the speed of light. I looked up at that point and saw the stars. They were being refracted into colors I had never seen before. I was filled with a sense of awe. I understood in some way that I was looking at the most important meaning in my life. Uh, later in his life, Einstein said, uh, quote, I knew I had to understand that dream, and you could say, and I would say, that my entire scientific career has been a meditation on my dream. Uh, so that dream was very important to him and to mankind. And then there was the scientist, uh, Frederick Kekul, who was important in organic chemistry, uh, who had dreams uh, that led to his uh, structural theory in, in organic chemistry. He also uh, dis discovered uh, the benzene molecule, and, and he would have dreams on the structures uh, and molecules and the atoms actually dancing in his dreams and forming the structures uh, that he later would draw the next day. Uh, that led uh, to his uh, intuitive uh, discovery along with his experimentation uh, that led to this, uh, the benzene molecule uh, and his structural theory uh, in organic chemistry. It should be noted that Kukul uh, was describing uh, his uh, discovery of the benzene molecule and he, one of his... Uh, uh, helpful dreams was that the benzene molecule was like a snake swallowing its own tail, uh, that that image gave him the insight to put it all together. Uh, there have uh, been some inventions that have been uh, highly influenced by dreams. Elias Howe in 1845 uh, uh, invented the sewing machine and it was a problem uh, because, uh, you know, your usual sewing needle, uh, the, the hole of the, uh, that you put the thread through is at the end of the needle. Uh, and he had a dream that made him realize uh, that he needed to structure it differently, his, his sewing machine. And he had a dream of African natives with spears and in the uh, arrowhead of each spear, uh, there was a hole, and he realized he needed to change the end that uh, he put the hole in for the thread to go through in his sewing machine, uh, which, which made the sewing machine possible. James Watson and Francis Crick discovered uh, the double helix uh, structure of DNA, and uh, Watson described in 2005 in a TED Talk how it was a dream of, of his that he had of a double, uh, of, a, of a staircase twisting like a double helix uh, that, that helped him uh, in, in their discovery of, of the double helix uh, structure of DNA. Mendeleev uh, created the periodic table, which is the foundation uh, of our understanding of chemistry. Uh, it, it lists uh, all the different elements and puts them in an order uh, th uh, that makes sense and we can understand. And actually, uh, uh, 
he had this he he of course worked on this for hours and hours and days and months probably maybe years uh but it all came together in a dream and the next day he uh, he, he wrote it down and it turned out to be correct uh, I think there was only later uh, one correction and using his table he, he was able to predict three or four elements that were later added to the table. There was a, uh, a mathematician in India uh, who worked with uh, the idea of infinity uh, and he proved uh, 3,000 theorems in uh, mathematics uh, and he, he said that he would repeatedly dream of a Hindu goddess and she would present him with these uh, mathematical formulas and he would, he would test them and verify them upon uh, when he woke up. Uh, uh, one such example was uh, the formula for the infinite series of pi. And, uh, that they were very complex. Um, and of course, uh, we've all had this phenomenon if you're doing math uh, and you can't get a problem and you go to sleep, uh, frequently the next day you can solve the problem. And that's because uh, your mind doesn't stop, at least your subconscious uh, uh, doesn't uh, stop working on the problem. Uh, it, it works it from a different angle and sometimes gives you uh, the necessary mathematical insight you need to complete it. Uh, 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 his, his vehicle and his subconscious uh, uh, was this goddess, uh, uh, which he probably had a strong belief in and which, which probably nurtured his thinking uh, and gave it to him uh, in, a, in a helpful and, and beneficial way. Otto Lowy was a German-born uh, uh, pharmacologist whose discovery of acetylcholine, ironically, uh, is, helps promote dreaming. Uh, but he's more famous uh, for winning the Nobel Prize and the chemical transmission of nerve impulses. They thought that nerve impulses were primarily electrical, uh, and he contended for years that it probably uh, was a chemical. Uh, and in 1921, Lowy, that's L-O-E-W-I, dreamed of an experiment that, that he thought would prove once and for all that the transmission of nerve impulses was, was chemical. Uh, he woke up and scribbled the experiment down uh, and went back to sleep. Uh, this is after having a dream. Uh, the next morning, uh, he wanted to try his experiment, but he was horrified to find that he couldn't, he couldn't read his own uh, midnight scribblings. Uh, he says that was the longest day of his life. Uh, but, it, but he could not remember the dream uh, for the day he was trying to you know, bring it up in detail. Uh, but uh, the next night, uh, the subconscious is persistent. He had the exact same dream, and this time uh, he got it, got it right. And the dream led to a series of experiments uh, that uh, he was uh, finally able to prove his theory and he won the Nobel Prize. My book is available at drfoxdreams.com at Amazon, and my blog, Where I Interpret Dreams, is at drfoxblog.com. Sweet dreams, and have a good night. Bye-bye.